Have you ever wondered how life would be like in Skyrim if you were a nobody, a farmer, a peasant? Well guys, in today's video, let's find out exactly how life is. Ah, oh, man. Another day, another dollar. Time to get the bread, shall we? Life as a farmer isn't really all that awesome, to be honest with you guys. I wake up every day, see my lovely wife, my awesome son, my beautiful chickens, and my cows, and we just work 24-7. I'm not really much into the news nowadays, but I have heard some talk of some sort of dragon destroying Helgen or something like that. Not sure what that's all about. Nonetheless, I try to stick to myself. I have a job to do and that's to keep my family safe and my ground tilled. Some may say that being a farmer is a boring job, but I don't look at it as a job. I actually look at it as my life, because that's all I know. I was born and raised a farmer. My dad was a farmer, his dad was a farmer, and so on and so on. There's honestly not much else that I do know or care to know. But one thing I've always been curious about, I wonder how life would be if I wasn't a farmer. Eh, enough of that. I have crops to tend to. I decided to grow some more gourd and cabbage, as well as some leeks and snowberries. You can't go wrong with cabbage, guys. You really can't. The typical meal for my family includes beef, cabbage, and bread. Sounds boring, but trust me, it's good. I usually keep a cow or two just to breed them, but every now and then we'll kill one or two cows and store the meat. I can't seem to keep the idea out of my head of what life would be like beyond these walls. Every day I wake up, I see this beautiful sight on the horizon. You can see solitude from here. I've never been there. It seems like a dangerous trek to travel from where I am to solitude. Wait a minute. Is that a person on the ground? Uh-oh. That's not good, guys. That's not good. We must defend the farm. I got attacked by a gang of marauders. Luckily, my son came in clutch with the bow and arrow strike. Thank Talos I had this axe to save my life. As two archers ganged up on me, I decided to go left and take out the weaker one. She had the high ground, I see, but she's no match for my trusty axe. I then went after the right one. This one had a special sort of bow, never seen it before, but luckily for him, his bandit chief came in to save him. But just like the one archer, he was no match for my trusty axe. After taking him out, he dropped the sword. It looked very interesting. I've never seen this one before. It was beautiful. I decided to wield it for myself and take out the remaining bandit. This one seems scared. I wonder where his parents are. After seeing the damage that I've caused and the blood dripping from the chief's blade, I felt kind of bad for them. But yet, I felt good for defending my home. After killing these bandits, I felt a sort of power. It felt good. Maybe being a farmer isn't my destiny after all. Maybe there's something greater out there for me. Maybe. Maybe. 